Dan, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you, sir. Uh, are you feeling like your prediction of a month ago is coming true? Well, I wouldn't say it was a prediction so much as it was a discussion I was having at the time about whether the Fed should have taken, uh, as they apparently did to some degree, taken 75 basis points off the table. Yes. And my point at the time was that I, I don't think they should have taken it off the table on the idea that perhaps the next inflation report might be hotter than expected. And now, now indeed, that's come to pass. And indeed, I do think that they will, they should raise 75 basis points at the next meeting. But I, I, would, I would stop short of calling it a prediction, so, uh, but, but, but I'll take it. Yeah, I mean, I, I remember the moment well, because the question was, came from our own St Steve Leisman uh, about 75 basis points. Uh, do you, in retrospect, was that a mistake on Powell's uh, part to, to fundamentally take it off the table? And now he may have to, he may choose uh, to eat his words. Yeah, I, I do think it's a mistake, although I will say I think the Fed is making a, no, a number of mistakes here and has made a number of mistakes. So in that sense, it's it's completely in character. But um, clearly, I don't think they should have taken it off the table. And, and I do think that they should raise rates. Tell us by what those other mistakes are that they are making or have made. I mean, obviously, they were slow to 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 awaken to the persistence of inflation. So we know that. Yeah, but I think they can be excused because a lot of people early on were on the transitory train, myself included. It, it conceptually made mm -hmm. sense and mathematically it made sense as well. But I think they were exceedingly slow to recognize the shift in the underlying economy, to recognize the degree to which fiscal stimulus was being supplied and the degree to which they should have retracted monetary policy in response. And the result of which is the housing, I don't want to use the word bubble, but the housing market in which we currently find ourselves, I find it one of the most egregious mistakes they've made in their entire history, that up until two or three months ago, they were still buying mortgage-backed securities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, now, now, I know there, there is some reluctance uh, inside the Fed to uh, articulate a difference between treasuries and mortgages for fear of seeing as being uh, su supplying support to the housing market specifically. So they tend to treat mortgages and, and treasuries the same. But the rest of us here on Earth don't view it that way. And, and the idea that they would be buying mortgages in February and March is just uh, an atrocious decision at the time, let alone in retrospect. What is the, a lot of this, Dan, has been about what you think, you know, they might do or what they didn't do. So what do you think they should do now? Yeah, so, so for starters, they have to play catch up. And that's a view articulated in a number of quarters, Larry Summers, um, Mohammed El Arian and the like, and, and I've been on that on that uh, in that of that of that view for some time now. I, I also do want to say that I have some sympathy for the Fed in the sense that there's really only so much they can do here. Sure, there's a demand problem. Uh, problem may not be the right word, but sure, sure there is excessive demand, and, and they can do their part to curb it. But the energy part of the story is something over which the Fed has almost no effect whatsoever. So as we know, gasoline prices are five dollars a gallon. They're well over six in in certain parts of, of uh, over in certain over six in, in California, where a large portion of the driving gets done. But I, we, I think we tend to put too much weight on the so-called core CPI, which excludes food and energy. The idea being that energy doesn't have an impact on on that core number, <laughs> and that's ridiculous. Well, it's ridiculous. ridiculous. 